Second football season in a row now. A New Haven High School team will have zero home games. Well, renovations to Bowen Field at Hill House High School came to a screeching halt when dangerous chemicals were found there in the bleachers and on the track. Now many parents want to know where that cleanup stands. News 8's Erin Logan has your back tonight with some of those answers. She's live in our New Haven newsroom with what she found out. Erin? Well, Ann and Darren, the News 8 investigators got these documents showing the dangerous chemicals PCBs were found in several areas, not just the bleachers and track. We also learned the school board has gotten money and approval to move forward with the cleanup and construction. Earlier tonight, parents sounding off, wanting answers. Three separate football teams practicing on a field, but not a football field. They can't even practice the field goal attempt. Because they have no field. They have, they have nothing to practice on. Look, it's a baseball field. Yes, it is. That's because for the second football season now, Bowen Field, adjacent to Hill House High School, has been closed off. Field renovations were put to a stop when PCBs were found in the track and the bleachers in the summer of 2013. Hill House High School parents say they didn't expect another season of Friday night football games all at the visitors' field or having to look up and see their home field in a sad state. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. This baseball field where they practice is shared by the varsity and junior varsity teams, as well as the New Haven Steelers Pop Warner team. It's not fair that our boys got to play with the big boys. They got to be stuck all the way in the corner and we can't see them from here. I don't want no more. I don't want, I'm going to get back to you. The New Haven Board of Education says by law they're required to do a cleanup plan and remediation process through the Environmental Protection Agency that can take a long time. When's the last word you heard from the city or the school board as far as progress or updates on this? Uh, in the spring we had a meeting where the superintendent attended and we asked the question and he sort of who told us that he would get back to us with some information. We haven't heard anything further. So we got some answers starting with this document obtained by the News 8 investigators. It shows that after additional testing was done, PCBs were also found in the locker rooms, gatehouse, concession stand, bleachers, press box, and bathrooms. News 8 also just got word from the superintendent's office that the EPA has approved the remediation plan and the state has given $4.9 million to cover the cost. So the goal is to get started in November. Now you want to show me something, then, I, then I'll be happy. Again, the superintendent's office giving the official word that the state has approved $4.9 million for the cleanup costs, which they are thrilled about. We'll keep you up to date on this cleanup and construction. Live in the New Haven newsroom, Aaron Logan, back to you in the studio.